Hey guys, today I will be telling you more about the cows in our game. As you all know, Moolander is centered around milk and cows are very important to us. So we, we needed them to be really really smart and to, to be really distinctive from the other enemies. To do that, a cow uh, needs to do more than just one action. Uh, it needs to be able to defend itself, it needs to be able to attack differently based on what you're doing, to heal itself, basically have all the necessary qualities of a simple living organism. This was impossible to do with uh, the traditional methods of writing uh, behaviors that are a bunch of if-elses. If so we needed another approach. That is when we turned to behavior trees. I want to share with you how the behavior tree that runs our cow looks. So as you can see here, this is basically the, the brain of the cow. It is comprised of many parts, but uh, they are in a couple of main categories. The first category is uh, defending against the lander attacks. The second category is regarding the healing. So the second category is focused on that, how, how it can move the cow to the grass and make it eat the grass. The next one is the offensive sequence. This is the various attack abilities of the cows. When it needs to target the lander, this is what it gets it executed. So let's get into more details and look one of the parts closely specifically the parts that defend the cow against the shock bombs. So how it works is the cow has a bunch of sensors that give sensory data and then this brain processes the data and determines the decisions of the cow. It makes that by using a couple of different types of nodes and uh, one of them is action nodes. So for example, move right, move left, spit, stab, stomp, something like that. The other one are conditionals. This is uh, for example, check the lander position on the normal eyes to the cow position or check if uh, there are shock bombs on top of the cow. And uh, for example, the, the shock bombs uh, defend selector. You can see that it is uh, divided into two groups. So basically, if that's the cow, I'm drawing it three-legged. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, so here, here we have two invisible detectors. On the, on the right side of the cow and another on the left side and they basically detect shock bombs and if shock bomb is in this sensor on the right then the cow will move to the left to evade it if it's on the left the cow will move to the right this is basically what is happening here if it detects shock bombs on the left then the reaction selector tells her to either run or walk to the right depending on that how close are, are the bombs to the to the cow itself so if they are really close then she will run to, to evade them I can show you actually how it behaves when you enable and disable different parts of the behavior tree so for, for example now I will only leave the part that is defending her against shock bombs this part here and uh, the parts for stomping and stabbing they are very simple basically if the lender gets in front of the cow then the stomp sequence is activated. If it gets really close on top of the cow, the stop sequence is activated. And uh, one very unique feature that we implemented is the cooldown node. Basically makes the cow uh, much more unpredictable on what it will do. Because of this cooldown and it uses uh, alongside the entire brain, the cow behaves unpredictably. So it is not completely deterministic, it's like a player. We, we also built some conditions in there with uh, which we can control the difficulty of the cow. So it is unpredictable but controllable, which is the, the best possible scenario here for us. You, you can see the some of the patterns but you cannot predict everything. Anyway, I will just run now and show you. You can, you can see, for example, I drop a bomb now. When I okay, so that was a short introduction on our cows. Thank you for watching, and uh, I will be telling you more about them and other features of the game in our next devlogs. See you guys.